Hello everybody, my name is Peachy Banjo, 8008. Welcome back to another episode of Continents. Now, as always, today we're going to be starting off with a little bit of server development. So first, I don't know if this was here last time or not. I started, I've started doing stuff up here, so I moved some storage up here, and, well, I didn't move some storage, I added some storage. And so whatever garbage I produce now comes up here instead of in the tent, which is good because the tent is getting full. Um, and then I took a bed up here. So this is where my spawn point is set, I believe. I believe, I believe. Anyway, many things have been happening in the server. Um, such as this. This building over here I've been working on for a little bit. There was a little bit of an encounter. There was a little bit of an encounter that happened a while back. Basically, the Emerald Emerald Empire and the Wall Empire, which I guess is our our, our opposing en empire, so to speak, they met up, had a little meeting, decided that all previous conflicts are null and void. That does not prevent us from starting new conflicts, however. And keep an eye on the Empire, which is mostly the Wall Empire, sorry, which is mostly based up there. Like, it's the people who live in the mega complexes, I'm pretty sure. So I have begun work on an em Emerald Embassy down here. And it is far from done, far from complete. But you can see that there is quite, there's a bit of space. I've been doing some interior work. So here's the main area. Library is the only like done done room, which is this room. And I think it turned out pretty well. This is where we're going to put like, if we ever have to like record anything or like document anything, we'll go in books and quills in there. Then up here's the stairwell. This is just, this is currently still just an empty room. I don't know what we'll do with that. Up here is the stairwell. And I'm thinking up here, we have this big space that we're going to be turning into the meeting room. And if you step out here, you're on top of the balcony. And the funnest thing, of course, is zooming out. And look, you can practically see the entire building. Another development that has happened since last time is I was gifted a sniffer egg. I don't remember who at this point. But I was gifted a sniffer egg. And so I took it down here to the cave area. And lo and behold, he has grown. Um, I don't know how we're going to name this guy, but he looks... <laughs> this is just a very fun thing. I like... Sniffers are one of my favorite things that just in this game, period. Um, so, yeah, we now have a sniffer, and we have the beginnings of an Emerald Embassy. Embassy? Embassy. So, things are looking good for us on Continents SMP. So today, we have a little bit of a smaller task. As compared to as compared to last episode's relatively larger task of of getting this thing built, we're gonna save out on Emerald Empire stuff for most of today. I'm thinking next episode will probably be a lot of stuff when that all goes down. Um, Melton did build a path over here, which was nice, and I installed some little windows and stuff. So things are certainly coming along over here, but that is not going to be the focus of today's episode. Focus of today's episode is a relative. What is this? Chicken store. That's great because I have not a lot of food. I have like this stack of steak, another stack of steak, and then no more steak for me. <laughs> so I think I will be utilizing that very much. But the focus of today's episode is how about we fly over there? Evidently, the world doesn't want me to. Is this. This whole cave entrance right here. This whole situation. It looks bad. It just simply is is not ideal. And as far as I'm aware, this goes somewhere, probably, right? Ugh. Yeah, okay. This goes to somebody's mind, so we're gonna have to keep... We're gonna have to keep the entrance inside of the cave. The entrance to the mines, I think, and to the cave can be fixed a lot. So, hopefully that's what we can get done today. First things first, this whole place is 4x5, and then, or 3x5s, 3x4, and none of the rest of it is. So, <laughs> we're going to have to fix that, and that's going to involve a bit of digging, methinks. So... Let's, I'm just gonna real quickly do that, 
and then we'll see what we can do about fixing this whole place up. Okay, so I now have a thing sort of happening. This is all big and cleared out, and we turn, we go down here, and then obviously this leads us to what we had before. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, so, here. Because I, I want this to be like a minecart system, right? You hop in the minecart and it takes you down through the, the cave until you get to the bottom. But what if the minecart comes through there some way, goes on paths that are like in the sky, right? Maybe turns there, comes down, and then it comes all the way down to the entrance of this mine. I think that could be a cool thing. Granted, we're going to need a lot of both minecarts and like trap doors upon which to place the sky minecarts down, but I think it should be worth it. Now, the problem is where do we want the minecart to come out? I'm thinking kind of, uh, let's hope I don't die. <laughs> I'm thinking here, right? Over here somewhere, it just kind of gets like, it shoots out there. The problem is I don't know how to get from here get to here from where we are already, because we're like up there somewhere. Oh no, we'll figure it out. Maybe here. Let's just real quickly write down coordinates. Where are we? 47, 171. 47, 44, 171. 47, 44, 171. Okay. And then... Uh, let's see how far away that is from where we are here. 171 is actually all the way out here, which is not ideal. So maybe I'm thinking, okay, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm having ideas. Let's block this off for now. That's not particularly important to any of this. Currently, I'm thinking that's just going to get deleted at some point. And instead, let's focus on... So let's just say the minecart leaves from this block, this block right here. There will be a button or something. And so now, now it's just going to come through here. And then hopefully that's going to take us to our X47. Oh yeah, that's right here. Okay. And then from there, we have to go all the way to 171. Which shouldn't be too much of a trek, I hope. So, I'm debating whether or not we should make this whole thing, like this whole section out of spruce, probably. But, either way, we have trap doors now, which are cool and very cool and cool and fun. I'm hoping this will create a much more interesting way of of getting down there as opposed to... Now, this should lead me right to the hole that I made, right? Right? <laughs> oh, but of course. We're at the wrong Y level. Okay. Well, that's certainly a thing we can deal with. Okay, so we have to cross through several caves to get down to the right Y level. But I believe... I believe, I believe, that this should be it. Down here. And we just kind of have to create a bit of a track around here that loops back. Maybe we'll put like, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to put lava right here, actually, which I think could be kind of fun. And then, and then we loop back around. To there? No, we can't do that. To there. Yes. Perfect and lovely. Uh, okay, so now there's going to be lava and all of this, which will be great and fun. And I'm sure everyone will appreciate that and love it. And then we are going to come through here, and now hopefully, digging through here, it's going to be a tight squeeze in here. We'll come out to the hole that I built? Yes. Perfect and good. Now, it's a straight shot all the way over there. But I first want to kind of get this whole thing set up. I'm kind of thinking we leave it open like this. Maybe kind of block off this area just a little bit. But for the most part, I want this to be pretty open. 
So, like, we'll leave that open as we're going down. Or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what looks baked and what looks just like natural cave. I'm thinking... I'm thinking that'll probably be good. Okay. Yeah, let's go and punch out torches and see where light is needed the most. So, obviously, we have light here just to go through and make sure no mobs can spawn. So... Light six five four three two one one two three four five six two one zero. Okay, so mobs can spawn here, or could spawn theoretically. I don't think they can spawn in uh, on rails. So we're just gonna stick a thing of lava right there, just to you know give a little fear. Oh my goodness, I wasn't supposed to get pain and hurt in this. In, in this experience. Okay. Well. Well, we lived. And that's really all that matters. And now we have a lighting fixture. Beautiful lighting fixture. Hopefully the minecart doesn't... Get, like, destroyed by any of this. Okay, so that activates the whole thing. And hopefully we'll set it up to dispense a minecart eventually, too. Come through here... So this is one of, one of those situations where we just need a redstone torch, a redstone block. Come through here, get sent all the way around this sort of situation. Through here, I think we could probably... If my memory serves me correct, that is how redstone works. Okay, so we kind of want to be sparing with our redstone blocks. Okay, this whole thing is set up now. Let us continue into the into the cave. I'm going to build some more of this, and I'll catch back on you. Catch back on you, catch back with you in just a little bit. Okay, so the main path that the rail is going to take is pretty much done. So, this is where you end. We're going to take this backwards. So, is this safe to be in? This is client light zero. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. So, you come through here. And we wrap around here. And this is how you kind of just see the whole cave system before, before you actually, like, get to be in it. This view is really cool, like, of the river and the trees and all the, and the little pond down there and all the glow berries. It's a pretty cool view and so we come through here and this is where we were before with all the lava right and then up here is where I'm really hoping you can make it up this in fact because I wound up with extra why not just put that to guarantee that you can make it up this hill hopefully there's also a pretty cool angle right here where you're just coming across here and you're kind of just over everything I thought that was cool and then you're all the way back at the beginning. So, what I wanted to do is, first we have to test it out and see if the thing works both ways. And then, we get to do some decorations and all that fun stuff. Which is truly the most fun part of the process. But first, let's test it. So you hop in, press the button, and we're off to the races. We're a little bit, the races are a little bit slow, but that's fine. Look at this. This is a... This is a cool place if I've ever seen one. We wrap around this corner. Everything seems to be going great and ideal. Now we go down here into this hole and voila. Okay, perfect and great. Um, for now I'm just gonna power this with a torch. Or not. For now I'm just <laughs> now I'm just gonna power this with a torch. Or not. How do you power this? It is a powered rail. Okay. Here we go. Up the hill. I'm really... Oh my goodness, we can't even make it up that hill. That's not going to be great for us. <laughs> okay. I see what needs to happen, evidently. Okay. Take two. We cannot make it up. That is a sad state of affairs. Okay, let's hopefully maybe... My, <laughs> my last ditch effort for this is just move this up. One block and see how that goes. Okay, let's figure this out. Does this work? Oh, almost. Okay, 
we're not going to be able to get up that without some interventions, which is disappointing to say the least. Okay. I'm really nervous about that big pill, and if we can't even make up the smaller one, then we're not in for... This isn't going to be good and great for us, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's what I expected, pretty much. Okay, well, this minecart's going to run off without me. That's fine. Um, or maybe not. That was weird. Okay, yeah, we're going to need more power rails, I'm afraid. Okay, well, ignoring the very obvious problem with the system, um, it seems to be, it seems to be pretty good. I think all I want to do now is decorate it, and then I'll get everything situated in between episodes, I think, because already I can tell this is going to be a long one. We also do need to go, okay, so this place is going to be decorated mostly, I think, with lava, like that's where the light source, that's where the light source is going to be. I kind of want to make this whole place down there lava too, except that's actually probably unwise, but I think this is a good little entrance. I kind of like it being dark down here. This whole area, okay, so, biggest thing right now, because I don't think we have to decorate much of this anymore, right? It's just installing lava flows down here. I think the rest is pretty good. I'm going to block that up just so people don't go wandering down there. Our biggest problem at the moment is this big ugly staircase, which we don't need anymore. So I'm going to kind of sort of maybe halfway, maybe halfway get rid of it. At least this this upper half of it that goes all the way up there. Now whoever's mine that is, they should still be able to access it. It's just not down that route anymore. Of course I can replace this if somebody asks me to. Like, it's fine. But I think getting rid of it will be for the better. For the better of the aesthetic, at the very least. Okay, let's look and see. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it is a complete and total mess up there. I never realized how like weird and wacky it was. We have like carved that place out immensely, extensively. Um, yeah, okay, maybe let's fill that in. Okay, so it's patched up now. It's looking, a, it's looking better questionably, but definitely at the very least, it's looking more natural. Um, let's add these back just so people don't get lost. But I think I'm happy with this minecart system. I think this turned out pretty well, all things considered. Um, we are going to have to do some decorating. I'm going to have to get a hold of some more powered rails somehow. But that, I think, is a problem for, for in-between episodes. Because right now, I guarantee this episode has been has been a decently sized episode. So, I'm going to end it off at that. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.